Good morning. Today is Thursday, May 7th, 2020, Thursday of the fourth week of Easter. What if Jesus comes to you, takes off his garment, guard himself with a towel, and bends down to wash your feet? Will you let him? You know that if he washes your feet, he will ask you to wash the feet of others. He will tell you that no servant is greater than his master, which means you are not greater than Jesus. He will give you a new commandment to love others as he has loved you. He will tell you that he is going to die for you, or rather, that he already died for you. Will you let him wash your feet? If he washes your feet, you cease to live for yourself. You have to live for him and him alone because he knows that he has chosen you. So, knowing all these, will you let him wash your feet? Or will you protest like Peter? Peter protested because he thought it was not proper for his Lord to wash his feet. He wanted to be polite or perhaps he wanted to show that he is the one who doesn't want someone greater than him to do something menial for him. What about you? Will you say that you do not deserve his love? Or will you say no because you do not want to live for him alone? Also, will you be found unclean like Judas? Will it be said of you that you have been ignoring all the invitations to rest your head on Jesus' breast, to trust him and to love him? Will it be said of you that you are making plans to betray the Lord by your actions, your decisions, your speech, or your silence? Or will you be like the leper in Matthew chapter 8 verse 2 who said to Jesus, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. What will you do? Whatever your position whatever whatever position you place yourself, here is a question for you. What will Jesus say to you? Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who restore human nature to yet greater dignity than at its beginnings, look upon the amazing mystery of your loving kindness, and in those you have chosen to make new through the wonder of rebirth, may you preserve the gifts of your enduring grace and blessing, through Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless you all.